guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Sherry here, how's it going? Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, there's been a personal tragedy in the family. So I am flying out of town um, on Sunday and um, so I'm not going to be doing any readings for about a week. Uh, now I know there's some outstanding private readings so um, email me and I can refund that money for you if you'd like. Um, but if you can wait a week and a bit uh, then I can get that reading to you. Um, so I need to be completely detached from the channel, so I'll also be releasing the zodiac signs as well. Um, but definitely trying to stay on track here with the, tw the twin flame readings. Okay. Masculine, how's it going? So this is going to be a yang reading for April the 16th until the 23rd. Um, so I think I'm going to do a split elemental. So I'm pulling four positions. Uh, representing each element and then one card for the soul in the middle and one card from the bottom of the deck and I also have my little deck here so I will pull some clarifiers as well um, my daughter has some friends over so you might hear them playing downstairs I apologize if they're loud all right, here we go. So beginning with the overall energy, Six of Swords, it's very interesting. This was your main position card for the Twin Flame reading. So moving into a calmer state of mind, um, making a decision not to engage in arguments or conflict. Um, so that's great. You know, it's, um, this is moving into a healing space. All right, so how is the masculine feeling emotionally during this period? Wow, heart chakra. So we saw a lot of this energy in the twin flame reading. He's following his heart. Um, you know, the twin flame connection showed up twice in his future. So emotionally, the masculine's heart chakra is wide open. It wants to express his emotions, feel love. And there's a sense that there's finally time for that. So one clarifier, Five of Pentacles, he feels left out, you know, disconnected in the 3D reality. Um, and there's a, so there's a sense of him wanting to reconnect in the 3D reality. So what's in the mind? Wow, the Four of Wands. That's beautiful. So he's making these decisions um, based on his deep knowing about the Twin Flame connection. Um, he feels guided. So mentally there's a sense that he's ready to commit. He's ready to move to this beautiful space of, of true love. So this is the twins coming together in the 3D reality mentally he wants to reconnect um, you know so this could represent buying a home together getting engaged getting married celebrating your love for one another so one card the ego but the ego um, so this could be a codependent relationship and addiction um, self-limiting beliefs so here we have this emotional detachment in 3D. And mentally, the masculine is struggling with the ego, wants to disconnect. It feels drawn to the connection, to the twin flame connection, but wants to disconnect from whatever this chain is that holding it, is holding him back. He wants to overcome the ego, um, put his his own selfish desires eh, aside. 
Okay, so um, this is 3D reality, Six of Wands, success, victory in the 3D. You feel accomplished, you feel supported, um, you feel, you know, there's vibrancy and excitement coming into your life. You feel like you're on the right track. Queen of Wands. So your focus in the 3D is on the Queen of Fire. Now this could be the Divine Feminine, which I really strongly feel it is. Um, it's like she's your guiding light. You feel accomplished. You feel victorious when it comes to her. Now the Queen of Wands is somebody who wants to be known, wants to be seen, wants to leave her mark on the world, right? She would do, she, you know, she's, she is the rock star. So in the 3D reality, there may be a queen of fire in your presence that is um, uplifting you spiritually, empowering you, or this, there's a deep desire for you to reconnect with the divine feminine, the one that you feel passionate about, right? Your twin flame. Um, and so, you know, you you definitely you feel drawn to her in the three D reality, and in the twin flame connection uh, reading, there is actually the sense of you kind of knocking on her door as a final outcome. Okay, so um, this is spiritually throat chakra. So this showed up um, as a final outcome, but in reverse in the twin flame connection for you. So spiritually. Um, there's something you need to say spiritually there, there's intuitive insight, you're listening to your inner voice, um, it's the sense, there was a sense that there's something you needed to say because it was in reverse and you're not saying that, but it's coming from a spiritual standpoint and we can see that in your reading as well, you were the high priest, right, and you were bringing this illumination into the union. Um, okay, well, let's see what the clarifier is. Three of Swords. So, as a crowning energy, there was the Four of Swords that was felt on both sides. The Feminine brought in the Four of Swords twice. So there's a healing element um, that is coming from spiritual growth or spiritual enlightenment. Oh, there's a dog barking outside. Um, I'm going to ask for further clarification for this. Okay, so what do you mean? Like your spiritual side of you. This is, you know, the light within you. Finding, hearing your true calling. Finding your life purpose. Um, you know, spiritual growth. Um, you know, it has a lot to do with the twin flame connection, and I can see that connection there. So spiritually, there's a sense that there may be a healing communication. Spiritually, you feel disconnected from the feminine, and you want to mend the broken bonds by communicating. Um, what do you mean? Talk to me. You can't get more clear than that. Um, there's something you need to say. And there's this energy of her drawing you in, you know, towards you. You feel this pull, this light in the dark. So mentally, you, re you need to disconnect yourself from that ego and pursue the things that make you happy and talk to her. Talk about how your heart has been broken, how you feel disconnected, how you feel maybe even trapped. But again, you're releasing yourself from that. Okay, so what is your soul crying out to you? Page of Swords, very interesting. This card um, made itself, you know, uh, the center of attention in the Twin Flame. 
uh, reading. So this came in as a foundation, shared foundation. It also came in as an energy that the feminine was bringing in to the union. So you, again, this is a communication card. You want to speak your truth. You have clarity about a situation. You know what you want. You made a decision. And so again, it's pointing to the Six of Swords. It's pointing to the Three of Swords. And it's pointing to the Ego. And also the Five of Pentacles. There is this need to cut away a chain. Um, and you've discovered a truth about it. About love. About true love. About how you've been holding yourself back from it. So your soul is crying out. It wants to say something. You know, talk to me. This could even just be being open and honest with yourself. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from... Call it Baron Reed, Wisdom of the Oracle. So I'm also going to be doing the extended version of this reading afterwards. So if you wanted to purchase that, you can go to my website by following the link below. Um, or you can become a patron on Patreon. And again, the link is below. You get 12 readings for $5. Or you can purchase them separately on my website for 11 11 Okay. Clean it up. The message from the universe is for you to clean up. Um, clean house, right? Release the things that no longer serve you. And that's what this Six of Swords is about. Detach. Okay, so let me read that. Okay. Getting to the core of the situation. Freedom from burden, cleaning house, sweeping away what is no longer needed. So this is kind of pointing to also that stranded island um, card that we saw in the Twin Flame reading, final message from the universe. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's time to open up, time to make room. Okay, so the message is, time to clear the air. Take a look at your side of the street and say what is on your mind. Say what is on your mind. Talk to me. Sweep away the old stuff so that the spring breeze can flow through with new energy. It's the perfect time to do an inventory of your dynamics and see what it's, what's yours and what's not yours. To clean up the relationship. Everyone brings some baggage. Sort through what you brought with you and let go of what is no longer needed. Become unencumbered and your relationship will flourish. I feel, wow, okay, I feel this baggage here with the Six of Swords as well and the Three of Swords. So you're bringing this energy into the connection and the universe is telling you it's time now to let go, to detach yourself from that. Um, and say what's on your mind. Talk to me. Very cool. All right, so um, I do hope this helped. And um, if you'd like, please leave a comment, uh, like, and subscribe. All right, cheers. Welcome back. This is the extended part of the reading. So this was very powerful energy that we're seeing here. So I'm going to use my other deck here. So we'll pull some clarifiers. All right. So we began with the Six of Swords before. So we know there's this energy, this movement to calmness, stillness, detachment. Okay, so uh, let's move into the emotional state again. Wow, Sacral Chakra. Wow, the Queen of Wands. So Sacral Chakra, past position. So there has been an, an emotional blockage. This is 
um, this represents your, your relationships, how you relate to the world, how you connect with other people. So I feel that, you know, it's a lower chakra. You always read it uh, normally as a blockage unless otherwise, you know, unless the other cards say uh, that it's not. And we can see that, you know, there is that opening with the heart chakra. So the past, there was an emotional blockage in the present position for a you know, that coming week, there's going to be the opening. So even those attached right now, possibly, um, there's effort to open up. So what's fueling that movement is feeling alone, feeling isolated, feeling detached from the feminine at the heart space. So the Queen of Wands, future position, we same card down here, Queen of Passion, the Queen of Desire, his burning light in the darkness. So this is movement towards the twin flame, fiery connection. Okay, so over to the mental space. Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles actually showed up in reverse position uh the past for the extended reading or for in the future past past future position sorry it showed up in the reverse so cool synchronicity there but it's it's showing up up showing up upright um in the mental space so the mental space the masculine this could be an earth sign but i always see this as the divine feminine different aspects of her so the past, there was this sense of home, stability, family, groundedness that is coming from the past. The Queen of Pentacles, you know, loves a beautiful home, wants the family to feel safe and secure and provided for. So the giving, receiving energy was also seen by the Empress card coming in from the past with extended twin flame as well. Right, we were wondering where that Three of Pentacles energy was coming from. It kept on showing up over and over again. That stability is helping the masculine through the tower and through the devil energy as well. So, you know, home is the, you know, that's true love home, which is the absolute opposite of what you see with the devil. The devil is a codependent relationship. So the future position, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is uh, waiting for the ships to return, waiting for harvest. Uh, you know, and while you're waiting, consider your options. See where you made your mistakes so you don't repeat those same mistakes. So it's uh, a forced pause. So in order to disconnect from the devil, there will be some, a period of, reflection. Remember, this is all in the mental space. Now, in the near future, we saw that reflection with the tower and the judgment card, the grand awakening card. So um, there's strategy here. How do I disconnect from this devil so that I can be with my twin flame in the 3D reality? All right. There's a definite strong desire uh, pulling you masculines towards the you know, the twin flame. Serious consideration to be connected or reach out in 3D, but you have to clean house first. Okay, so um, the 3D reality, Ace of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. So same card that's showing up over here. Um, so the Ace of Pentacles past position, seed of intention has been planted. This is an opportunity, um, a new beginning, but we see this Ace of Pentacles connected with the Queen of Pentacles coming from the past. So there is that seed that is planted, it's growing, and, and it makes the masculine feel excited, successful, encouraged to connect with the feminine. You know, there's that beginning, that idea, that feeling inside that this could grow into something beautiful. But then we have the Three of Swords in the future, heartbreak, 
talk to me, right? Um, you know, maybe this devil requires someone to be hurt, um, which is why there is no movement, right? You need to think about things, consider them. So let me just pull a clarifier for that. Okay, so what do you mean by the Three of Swords in the future? There's something he has to say. Something he needs to release to cut away. Genuine. The Three of Swords. Um, maybe he's been putting on a facade. Um, what I'm feeling here is no longer playing the victim. The he, should, he said, she said kind of thing, back and forth. And vulnerability as well. It's like he's wearing his heart on his sleeve. He wants to be genuine. He wants to heal any wounds. Right? And remember, the heart chakra is wide open. The four of wands is wide open. Definite fear of being hurt here. No doubt about it. But if you're coming from a genuine space, then it can only be good, right? And that's why that 1111 is showing up in the future. 1111 all over your side of the reading. Okay, so spiritually, the Queen of Cups, wow, oh my God, I just realized there's been a Queen uh, every position so far. So we've got the Queen of Wands over here, Queen of Wands up here, Queen of Pentacles in the past here, and the Queen of Cups in the past. Very interesting. So Eight of Cups in the future. So the Queen of Cups is could represent a water sign but this card showed up on the reverse position in the distant future as a final outcome for the, the feminine side so this is really pointing to a blockage right the the sacral chakra emotional disconnect and we we see that disconnect with the feminine the queen of swords is showing up a lot you know um having being more in the mental space in order to disconnect from the connect, from the relationship, but she's really struggling with her emotions, and obviously you are too. Now, the Queen of Cups is somebody who gives love unconditionally, um, and it represents somebody that you love very deeply. So, um, since this, you know, I don't feel that there was communication between you and your divine feminine because we're getting the, the talk to me in the past, but there's a sense of a reflection on her, thinking about her, thinking about how he feels about her, needing to communicate, wanting to communicate. Three of Swords is stopping him, preventing him from, from fully opening up. But I feel, you know, he comes from a genuine space in the future. And again, the movement is to calmness, right? Movement away from the devil, away from the fears, away from the ego. And then you can see that with the Eight of Cups. Movement away from an emotional draining situation. And it's a pilgrimage, right? In search of self. So that's beautiful to see. Um, overcoming your fears, which is having your heart broken, and ultimately communicating, saying the things that you've wanted to say from a genuine space, maybe telling the feminine how you might have hurt her or how she hurt you. Okay, so I'm going to, yeah, we'll pull three cards for that. Sun, 
four of wands, wow. And the tower, very cool. So the sun, most positive card in the deck. We can see that burning desire um, rising with the four of wands, right? There's this excitement, exhilaration building, and that's what's fueling you forward. You want to talk about the twin flame connection. You want to talk about how you feel. And, it, you know, there could even be a sense of commitment, right? Um, this communication or this clarity of thought is coming from the sun. Such a beautiful card. And, you know, there's a sense that you know what you want, right? Which is the Ten of Cups. Um, and that's what you want to talk about. Okay, so you want to come off your island, basically. So the tower is coming in the future. Cool synchronicity. It showed up in your near future position in the Twin Flame reading. Okay, sorry about that. My battery Sudden died. Sudden change. So, and it actually died at a really good Illumination. Spot. All right, so um, I'm going to pull one final card message. Whoa, from the universe. Wow, that's very interesting. Um, so the peace card. This showed up for the, the extended version of the Twin Flame reading on the masculine side. So double whammy, um, peace is yours. So I'll read that again. Two cards popped out, but I'm only going to read the one. Kind of curious to know what it is, though. Never ending story. So completion of that. And we can see that kind of worry, guilt, fear, you know, something that's been dragged out for a long period of time. All right, so... Freedom from attachment, radical acceptance. When two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. There are as two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours. It is to be savored. All right, so... Peace is yours. This energy, this twin flame connection can be yours. But it requires you to detach. Radical detachment. And that's what you'll be doing. Alright, so I do hope this helped. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Alright, cheers.